Okay, so you know about this wonderful weather that we've had here in Southern California. Oh, and other places. Well, it may have to do with global warming. And the left is requesting that the right, of course, they, wait, they're quickly becoming demands? I have a feeling they're coming soon. That they start, what, being pro- what? They pro want the media warming? to be, to debunk anything that anybody says about global warming. And, of course, they were saying it from where they were basically had a foot and a half of snow yesterday, but... And in the worst winter that they've had in in recorded history, in, in, since they started recording winters, this is the worst winter worldwide. So, it is? Yeah. Well, we're really enjoying it here in Southern California, and I bring it on. Anyway, meanwhile, we're going to bring Old Camel with comments on the headlines of today. And it's, oh, and it's all over for the Republicans. You know that every day since the, Obama became president of the United States has been over for the Republicans. This time... Um, They've got three senior senior Dem Republicans that are retiring from the Senate. You know why? They said, well, it's because of health issues and family issues. No, it's because they opened their mouth about the right and said, we've got to move away from those fanatics, and we've got to take the party back. Well, they're no longer, what it was was they were going to put up challengers to them and knew they weren't going to get reelected. So, well, we're going to retire early now. So you go, they're in red states, so you're going to have Republicans in and Democrats, though they have no chance. But what happens is, the, instead of it going more to the left, which is what the Republican leadership wants, I mean, they'd be perfectly happy if the entire Senate was composed of Mitt Romney clones. Mm -hmm. because, and, but, uh, so they're going to have three more people from the conservative side than they had before, no matter what, and possibly as many as 11 new members from the right that they really hate. Oh, and Detroit bankruptcy judge rejects deal with banks. Well, you know, here's the thing is, they say that the Detroit has to pay back the money it owes the banks, because the banks are, they said, the stockholders cannot be given the shaft like the president did. They said you have to make an arrangement with the stock, with the bank, uh, to pay back your loans. That's how it works. You just can't say, bankruptcy is not what people think it is. You still have to pay back all the money you owe. You just have to pay it back in a different manner. But you, <laughs> If you owe a million dollars, you're going to pay a million dollars unless the people that you owe the money to agree to a lower sum. But then you're going to get hit with the lower sum. I mean, yeah, because the money's still owed. Yeah, it's still owed. And Detroit bankruptcy judge rejects deal with banks. I know, she liked that when she read it twice, didn't she, Herbie? Because Tesla boost sells despite safety issues. Oh, yeah. They're, okay, Tesla sold 9,000 cars, which, okay, Tesla is the hottest selling automobile in Southern California. It outsells Porsche and Audi and BMW. They sold 9,000 cars last year in, the, in total. And 2,000 of those cars have now been, re been recalled for why? Oh, they catch fire, which is exactly, oh. remember what was it? The guy and his $250,000 Tesla that burnt up? And it wasn't George Clooney said he, I mean, George Clooney's car sort of had a problem, and he won't drive one of the little monsters. So. I know. And Obama takes swipe at Snowden in spy reform speech. First of all, <laughs> Snowden blew the whistle on all the all of the illegal things that they're doing. Well, Herbie Daddy said he's going to explain something for everybody out there. The NSA is forbidden by law to spy domestically. <laughs> They can only spy domestically if they get congressional and judicial approval to do such. And it has to be on a case-by-case -case basis. They are not allowed to gather information on Americans under any circumstances. So what are they doing? They're doing exactly what they're forbidden by law to do. So, and, and, and here, is, um, uh, here is a thing. My, Herbie Daddy has something from Mark Twain he's going to tell you. He said... Uh, you can always trust a professional liar to tell you the truth. <laughs> and Eric, of course you can, yeah. right? Well, and then how do you know they're telling you the truth? Yeah. Mark Twain again, Herbie Dennis says, how do you know when a politician is lying to you? It's when they open their mouth. <laughs> and Arab Spring democracy failure. Oh, like, do anybody actually believe that our, our Muslim-loving president ever intended for those democracies to take root? If he'd have wanted them to, he would have helped them to, remember? Now, here's the way it works is, his father, is a, his father was a member of the, of the Iranian sect. And, you know, he was their religion, Sunnis or whatever it is, and therefore, guess who's taking control in the Middle East? The religious organization that his father was a member of. Yeah.
then California Bullet Train, how Jerry Brown is at war with himself. Oh, he wants to, okay, he, he ran through higher taxes in order to help pay the bills in the state of California. Now he wants to take a uh, god awful a large amount of that money and put it on the bullet train of which he's never going to get built because he's not going to get permission to ram it through the 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 the, the reserves where he has to I mean they, uh, we're talking he got the right and the left both on him. He wants to put it through wetlands. You cannot build you in build. wetlands. <laughs> but he want in order to make it work, we're only going to take a little bit of the land and we're going to restore it. No, once you bust the soil in a wetland, it doesn't come back the way it was before. Mm. And Mercedes brings back the Maybach. Yeah, except it's going to be closer to what, what we were there when they introduced the Maybach. Um, the gentleman, I think, is no longer with the company because he really liked the Maybach. The, Actually, it was quite magnificent. Yeah, it's going to be more like the original Maybach. It's going to have a longer wheelbase and, two, and three sets of wheels, which is what the Maybach originally had. They're going to make it, it's going to go back to the limousine style, which is what the Maybach. Okay, it only had cells. It's a, it's a, it's a, a rich person's car, and they were trying to make it a commercial car, which didn't work. Mm -hmm. And um, Abba says he won't make concessions in Jerusalem. Uh, well, yeah, Obama seemed to think, well, we're going to, uh, Carrie, we're going to convince the Israelis to give Jerusalem over to the Palestinians as their new capital. But Herbie Daddy says, well, hell will freeze over before they give Jerusalem up. Mm. And Obama administration mandates racism in schools. Oh, yeah. In order to stop racism, they require you to have racism. You have to... You have to favor white and black students over brown, over brown students, over yellow students, over white students because we're working on inequity. Okay, anybody? Okay, here's this. Here's my little my little blonde hair, my little blue eyes, and my little reddish German skin. My mommy's an Indian, folks. You want to know what racism is like? Grow up with Indians in the family, mm -hmm. and you know what racism is like. Mm -hmm. and, and it's not racism like you've seen. And Airbus beats Boeing with record sales in 2013. Because you can't fly the stupid, you can't fly the um, the Boeing, the Dreamliner. You've got, what, you know what Herbie Daddy said? Oh my God, it's a brilliant thing. Throw those batteries out and go back to the way they used to do things. And Russia steps up military lifeline to Syria's. Yep, well, yeah, because it, here it is. He who controls the port of Damascus controls the entry to the Middle East. And the Russians now have control of Damascus. Oh. And Russia steps up military lifeline to Syria's. She likes that one. Well, because the UK is to assume the debt in case of Scottish independence. Really? Oh, yeah. But you know what they're going to do? Well, in return for assuming the debt that you owe us, you're going to turn over the North Sea oil to us. Mm. That's not going to happen. I, I was watching Sean Connery last night, and he, was, and he says just that. You know, if you think that they're going to get away with what they're talking about, you know where they can jam it. Uh -huh. See, Sean Connery is the uh, the acting prime minister of Scotland, and he is very nationalistic. They're, they they own the North Sea, and they basically <laughs> it is where the money for Great Britain comes from. You know they're never going to allow them to split off. No matter what they're saying, it's not going to happen. And Colorado blamed for West Virginia spill files for bankruptcy. The company. Yeah, what happened was oh, the, company, oh, company? the company has also had a second spill. The, the The object is they think that somebody says they think it may have been done deliberately to put the chemical company out of business because um, the, the Obama administration is hammering away with commercials on, on, on television now about the evils of industrial chemical companies polluting. Isn't that mm -hmm. coincidental? Uh-huh, and Charter makes $61.3 billion offer to acquire Time Warner Cable. Well, here's the problem. Time Warner does not seem to... Uh, okay, what has Herbie <laughs> said? Time Warner is a publicly traded company. If they buy up all the stock, Time Warner got on its rear end, and that's what they're looking at doing, is thinking they made a bid for the company that was worth more than, was more than what the company was worth, and um, they think that what's going to happen, they're going to do an end run around the board of directors and just make a hostile bid. And if the Time Warner basically tries to protect themselves with a poison pill thing, it's going to be a disaster because it means they're going to be stuck with the company no matter what. And women must be part of Syria talks, activists say. Yep, never going to happen. That, okay, oh, it's a it's a traditional Muslim country, and we're going to have women at the table bargaining. Hmm. 
and a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Okay, Monty, you know, Herbie said, Herbie got something to say. He said that uh, it's got to do with lying again. He said, you can only lie so many times and expect people to believe it's the truth. <laughs>